Hey everyone, James Reeves, TFB TV EWA 2024. Over here at the Reshell booth, it caught my eye because these are reloadable training shotgun shells. You reload them with compressed air. You can put in paintballs, little, I guess, rubber projectiles, plastic projectiles that you can 3D print yourself. Kind of a neat little concept that caught my eye. I'm with Rusty. Rusty is going to explain this entire system to us, but Rusty, tell me a little bit about it, like an overview. What gave you this idea? We wanted to create an intermediary cartridge. We wanted people to save their powder and their primers because they're tougher and tougher to get. And we wanted to make cost mitigation a big part of that as well. I can use these for training. I can use force on force, like train with my buddies with shotguns and reload them when I'm done. Yes, sir. So you'll get yourself a kit, 20 cartridges and a charger. And later on when we supply our polymer simunitions barrel, which will be an off gauge, we'll supply 20 hulls and rims replacements. So you can use your same kit as a sim in a simulation setting uh, with paintballs against your buddies. And we're aiming for 25 to 30 yard accuracy. And, that, as, and that's our 12 gauge platform. We're also working on 10 gauge for those who can't get 10 gauge shells very easily. And that's our flat shooting variants. We're working on um, arc shooting as well with the 40 millimeter, 37 and 40 millimeter mic mic rounds as well. We're achieving much better results in range with those, about 90 yards. Mm -hmm. We're trying to get further, but I'm not gonna make false promises. Yeah, sure. um, so the way it works is your cartridge has a lifespan into the thousands. The weakest point right now that we're you know, trying to catch up with development is your uh, bumper for your resettable priming mechanism. But anyways, the rest of it, we haven't really exhausted it yet, right? We haven't, haven't really, got, I got some here that have cycled, you know, maybe a thousand, thousand times, so 1,500 times. So anyways, you connect your charger to a paintball reservoir. It operates anywhere from 500 PSI up to, you know, a thousand plus PSI. We don't recommend going over a thousand PSI because you're not really getting anything ballistically at that point. You're going for your 30 yards, right? So you hook it up to your paint supply, paintball supply, sorry. Turn your ASA on, so now your chamber's charged. You press that for one Mississippi. Clear the chamber. Now your cartridge is completely charged. Sorry, they tend to roll around a little bit, you say. Then you'd feed your payloads. Now, when it comes to payload compatibility, we have various things going on here. Um, your longer payloads will get you better ranges, closer to 30 yards, right, 28-ish meters. Your shorter payloads are cheaper, uh, require less plastic or cost from us. They're closer to your 15 to 20 meters yards, right, for accurate six-inch groups. And um, yeah, we are breaking in different calibers, but we're testing the playing field, seeing what people want first. I was more excited about the uh, paintballs. I can load this with paintballs, right? That's right, paintball, pepper ball, it's all compatible with off-the-shelf stuff. Okay, and what kind of velocity can I expect, let's say I put a paintball, pepper ball in there? So we're from Canada. Um, in order to get this to be within compliance from the firearms council, we had to stay under 500 feet per second. Okay. Because right. more feet aren't, like more feet per second aren't really achieving better results and accuracy there. Okay. Because your payloads range anywhere from one to five grams, which, you know, once you get a five gram projectile, you know, like getting too much oomph before it starts to swim. Okay. So. And let me ask you about these projectiles and about the cost of the entire system. Like, how much am I looking at? Because at a certain point, mm. I appreciate the fact that these are reloadable training shotgun shells. But if it costs me a whole shitload of money to, to get into this ecosystem and for the projectiles and everything, mm. at that point, I mean, shotgun shells are pretty cheap. Granted, right? And we did, you know, prior to this, we invested in Airsoft for props, right? Try to get my head around that industry. Um, now... Investing in ecosystems isn't really what we want to do here. We want to facilitate. This whole thing was incepted right around you know the time Ukraine happened, to be fair. I don't want to get political here, but I'm just going to say that was the, the motivation behind it. We wanted to ultimately you know, allow people to train cheaper. Right? I know you can go buy a case of birdshot and go to town, but can you buy a polymer barrel and put it on your gun and shoot your friend with it as well? So paintball is running about 50 cents each. Mm -hmm. Simunition costs, again, I'm not really dug into simunitions. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it, we, we mitigated costs as much as we can because we've been working on it for five years. Um, we're trying to keep it under 600 US a kit for 20 shells and a charger. Mm -hmm. We feel like that would, you know, eventually get to saving you money if you're going to a 20, 25 yard range. Right. 600 US, I get into the ecosystem. Let's say I want to buy some shells from you, some additional projectiles. What does that set me back? So the additional projectiles, we are print farming these guys through an automated process, which helps us mitigate some of that cost. So we'll sell them in a bag of a thousand or up, 
and that'll be much cheaper than your paintball option. Mm -hmm. But we want to keep the paintball option there for, you know, a lot of people are going to be using this in, maybe in law enforcement. Maybe they have access to that kind of stuff, or we're not really here for the paintball crew, but we wanted to give an off-the-shelf option. We don't like locking people into proprietary ecosystems. Right? Rusty, how much? How much what? For the payloads? How much does it cost me? Oh, uh, we're working on that because we want to get the cost down as much as possible. Right now, they're about 15 to 20 cents a, a shot. Mm -hmm. But if you print them yourself on a $300 printer, mm -hmm. you got to guesstimate that yourself because a roll of filament sure. can make it thousands of rounds. And I can get those plans from you. Well, they're free to download off our website. There we go. Yeah, we that's... have free to print um, payloads, various different profiles. We have uh, free to print molds, so you can make them out of silicone, et cetera, wax. I want to do 20 for the range. I mean, that's not a whole heck of a lot. Sure. So uh, well, let, imagine... let's say I've got 100, yeah. and, and how long is it going to take me to charge 100 shells and load them up and everything? Well, I gave you a demo there individually. It probably takes a couple seconds to load a shell. If it's already hooked up, that's an individual shell. Now, do we have a multi-shell charger at the moment? No, we're developing it. It should be ready by the end of the year, where we're hoping to charge up a half a dozen at once. But you'd have to turn your ASA on, depress this for a Mississippi, ASA off, and you're done. Bob's your okay. uncle for a single cartridge. Yeah, okay. So like, yeah, 15, 15, 20 seconds, right? Yeah, or and toolless, so. Okay. Right, so compared to loading, yeah, sure. So there you go. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Well, Rusty, thank you for taking the time to explain the system. Again, like I said, it caught my eye. So I appreciate the explanation. Very thorough, guys. Stay tuned. We're bringing you more from EWA 2024.